Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Let's go from June 16th through the 22nd, okay? Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, if you have not, go ahead and do all of those things. It's much appreciated. So anyhow, let's jump into this. Um, keep in mind, I do have the one question, one concern. So it's either one question or one concern. Uh, three card spread. Um, it's $6.66. Because it is the sixth month of the year. This is about choices. Um, getting over that devil energy and making the right choice. Because the devil energy is about choice. You know, you have the choice to stay in it or, or get out. Alright, so anyhow. And it looks like we have a six here in your spread. Um, the overall energy is the king of cups. King of pentacles, six of wands, nine of swords, two of swords. The tower, prince princess of swords the high priestess so immediately if you, you call out these cards people are like immediately alarmed like oh well, where's the ace of cups and the two of cups and the it's not always like that it's not always sunshine and you know bubble gum and uh, roses and all of those cute little things but it's also this is also not a bad reading a lot of the energy rests of course with um the major issue here is outside influence for the aries it is influencing how the aries feels about a particular person place or thing this might be a person this might be a committed person someone who is who has made commitment obligation elsewhere not with the aries i'll say not just yet because i have the clarifying cards here and they look amazing but this is more so a reading for the aries about their <coughs> excuse me about their mindset habits And what they do on a day-to-day -day basis or what they think about on a day-to-day -day basis that keeps their their mental their heart and their mind divided so it always keeps them at a place of not being able to make a decision with the two of swords right this spread says Aries if you make a decision well firstly you have to make a choice or there's someone needing to make a choice so a choice and a decision are different because the choice is um, okay we have hamburgers and hot dogs today someone asks you what you want you choose hamburger right but the option for a hot dog is still there it's just that you chose hamburger a decision is when you completely cut away. It's to make an incision and, and then divide. So the decision. This is when that option is no longer available. So it would be different if I say you have um, to decide between hamburgers and hot dogs. We, we're not going to have both. So now you have to say, which one do I like best? And you have to weigh up your options and you got to go through all of that. And you've made a decision, let's say it's hamburgers again. Hot dogs are, it's not available, it's not there. It's not readily available as if you're making the choice. So anyhow, there's someone who needs to firstly make the choice of who or what they want. And it's causing them a lot of anxiety. Also, there may be separation here. This says, with the Nine of Swords, it says that the answer is within. You're looking to, to outside source to get answers, but the answer is within. Um, it's within your intuition. It's within how you feel. But you can't process how you feel because you keep resting heavily on your mental, which is all jacked up also. 
because um, you just aren't clear enough to to process the feelings and your mental may be swayed because you're in separation from someone something so now the mind wonders and this may be what you do on a day to day also for some of you you're doing something on a day to day basis it's habitual that causes you to have racing thoughts it causes you to have anxiety uh, it may be looking at too many tarot card readings you're getting information from this this source that source and it causes mental a mental breakdown and a mental funk the cards say if you get clear on what you want Aries or who you want however it looks even though this person may be committed now or there may be a commitment elsewhere uh, if this is career um, it may look as if this is a long time away or a long time off whatever it may be it says if you make the commitment then things will fall in line and you'll be a lot more calm and you'll rest in an inner knowing that you're on the right path here and you'll also know that you had to go through all of this because this was a spiritual journey and awakening unto to yourself to really analyze self if you don't get what you want are you so quick to run off or cut off the situation or play childish games or this is about analyzing yourself and systems that you put within yourself also there is you know on the surface of this reading there's someone needing to make a, a real d choice and decision about what it is they want it looks like the Aries comes to some epiphany mentally the tower and the princess of swords about how they think once again your thought process how you you process information how you may be so eager and full of energy to make moves and to make moves in haste and and um this talks this talks about how uh, your fear of commitment is really stagnating for some of you the energy between you and said thing or person Aries it just says if you just really get clear and you remain emotionally balanced meaning you're not wavering too far to the left too far to the right in regards to how you feel you're balanced in knowing that this is where I am I'm on the right path yes it looks mucky or muddy or whatever right now but this is what I am committing to because I know I have an inner knowing that this is going to get me to uh, the place that I want to be it's going to land me to uh, where I want to be so it's about standing strong in your in your convictions I hate to say this only because I have my own reservations about what I'm about to say but I'll say it because it may help someone um, this is really about for some of you a situation where you're you're um, involved with someone who's committed or you're committed you you transpose the situation as you see fit but you're dealing with someone that's committed um, and you have been dealing with this person for an extended amount of time and it looks as if you're going to get what you want sometimes but then it doesn't and then it does and then it doesn't and you're the two of swords all the time and because you have made no real mental and emotional commitment to what you put yourself in a third party situation uh, then it's, it is topsy-turvy it's topsy-turvy 
more so because you haven't made the commitment it looks as if someone really wants to have real change with you and change the dynamic of the relationship but they need for you to stay balanced when you're off kilter they get off kilter when you're not sure they're not sure or vice versa um so it says if if um and Aries would take a leadership position in this and say okay we're doing this and be very firm in what you expect as an end result you'll get it but as long as you always waver about how you feel and how you think about the relationship then this is what it'll always be it'll always be up and down and topsy-turvy let me tell you why the two um, supporting cards that I pull for the angel answers deck is it's up to you you know you're wondering is this really going to happen it's up to you uh the stopping the go the separation the the personal philosophy that you have about how things should be we need to change some of that the tower I don't feel like it's um it's an event, but it's more so of a mental event. Also, self-care. Uh, you you need to dig deep within yourself and really, from the clarifying cards, you need to go over in your mind what what masculine uh roles and energy has shaped your thought pattern has shaped your mental thus far uh because it looks like th that's what that this is about um you may have been slighted wronged in the past and it may have come from some masculine energy so it it puts you in a place of always needing to be in control. But it says that you you essentially are in control of this situation. It may even be with family. Also some of you in your home you need to lay down the law, the rules, the regulations. And you'll see significant and beneficial change. If you don't, then you'll see the same. It'll be the same. You know, it's just that. It's just that simple. Um, but yeah, there's some, some Aries who just needs to rest. Rest in an inner knowing that things are going in your favor. But only if um, if you allow it, something, something got to change your mental. It's about the choice, the choices that we make this month. Uh, so it says make the choice. Stop being divided in your thought, and, and stop having fear of committing to a, a, a situation. Okay. All right, Aries, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, for you, go over to the website, uh, click the extended link, the extended read for the link, the extended, click the, the link for the extended read. Uh, it's below. Um, it's always $2.25 to get the extended read. Six dollars and sixty-six cents to get your own personal reading for one question. All right, Aries. Now that I'm praying for you, pray for me as well. Take care. See you on the other side.